Ladies and gentlemen, the laser vomit of the gods. Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to German Engineering. Today we're running the Stone Rhino 6 in a full-on large pulse laser and ER medium laser build. The damage is staggering. 120 damage for one cycle of its weapons. It is uh, truly one of a kind. It's a little bit on the spicy side, but a lot of fun. And you guys, I mean, I've said it once before. I'll say it again. Nobody expects the face melter. Heat level critical. Let's go. This is gonna melt my legs. I'm literally walking through lava right now. It's not even heating me up. What? Okay. Thanks. Target spotted. Target spotted. Scale shot. Got the thundercock. Stop blocking me, please. Mm, too bad. Thanks. Target spotted. Okay, not bad. Up the cool shot here. Target spotted. Critical. Override. Shutdown. Oh, he felt that one, that's for sure. Target spotted. Target spotted. Yeah, isn't that Urban Mech from last round? Acquired. Do you think he's learned his lesson? Critical. Running a little bit hot here. Almost had him. Had him. Got the cool shot here. I need the cool shot. That's the war muscle shooting back there, I think. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted. They're in a 4v1 and they can't finish a scale target shot. Destroyed. Oh, damn it. You got away. That's the one that got target away. Acquired. Target spotted. Critical. Acquired. Those are over there. Need to cool down. Critical. Okay, that's fine. Our stone rhino is solo. Echo five. Let's go. Maybe we can help the Zeus a little bit. Target spotted. If he gets pushed. No, we're looking good though. Left the right side towards on that guy. Target spotted. Critical. Target spotted. Whoa, wait. Target spotted. Ow. New target acquired. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Override. Wait, where am I spotted. shooting? Oh, he's almost dead. Not quite, but almost. No, target come spotted. back. They're making, they're making me so sad this round. Can you guys from Echo 4 join us, please? Thanks. Need assistance. Heat level critical. I'm just walking through my line of sight like crazy right now. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Nice. Heat level critical. Target spotted. Override shut down. Mm, ow. Right Need assistance. Taking so much target damage. Spotted. They're dying here. I don't know where these guys are. There's a sniper on me. Light AC5s in that thing. And one shot side, Joseph. Finally! 
Okay. Thanks. Let me double that. Target acquired. New target. Alright, let's get that Costa Sacto. So. Or city. I'll take the city. And then there will only was one. Just got a ping. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fucking special mover. Yeah, you better go die in a corner with your thunderbolts. Thank you, <laughs> That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, this is a match I wanted to see. Five kills, three solo kills, five kills, most damage dealt. Almost 1200 damage done, 600 taken. Nine components destroyed, and a UV kill. Chat saying that's one for YouTube, I agree. 743 match score. GG. Just need to get a little bit closer. Like 600 ish is not bad. Closer would be better. Target acquired. Target. Target <laughs> he just murdered the ground thoroughly with his axe. Is it the same dudes from before? Yeah, it's the same snipers from before. New target. Target spotted. Target spotted. New target acquired. New target Target's acquired. Hmm. No, it's funny to me, I've, I've asked them so many times to close these fucking mushrooms, but they just can't be bothered for some reason. Oh, that Highlander is gonna brawl us to death. Target spotted! And I'm got stuck on some bullshit on the ground right there. Why are you not dead, dude? Target destroyed. Target acquired. Hmm, maybe we can get to a better angle from here. It's too steep. It's gonna be possible to shoot through here, but we can't shoot through here. Target spotted. Heat level critical. Rip. Heat level critical. Black Hawk with one touch. He's not gonna show his face so quickly anymore. Heat level critical. 
Next Thunderbolt with Pega. Come on, one more step. One more step. No. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Yay, skill. Target How are you still alive, dude? We'll start for that shit. Target spotted. No, but Target nicely ahead acquired. right now. The problem is just that there's still a sniper lord sitting up top there. And there's a light mech here. Target spotted. Ha! Did we just win by circle? We just wow. won by circle. Ah ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. <laughs> that was a hard fought victory. Got three solo kills. I solo killed two assault mechs and a light. I'll take that. Not a bad little match. That's funny though. That's like almost half the enemy team solo killed by me. 516, uh, 518 match score. GG. Well, what a crazy build this is, but oh, so much fun if you can stand the spice and the heat. Here it is on screen right now, Clan Exile Engine 325 for this mech, endo structure, standard heat sinks, and standard armor. We're using standard heat sinks here because otherwise we would not be able to uh, shoot all these weapons in one go. We would just heat, uh, hit the 100% heat limit and we would shut down and we can't have that, can we? So single heat sinks, those allow us to get to a higher maximum heat threshold. Two large pulses in each side torso, those of course will populate the high mounts first, so these are your large pulses up here, and then you got your ER medium lasers here. Um, they stack a little bit weirdly, so you're actually stacking them from the bottom up instead of from the top down, which would be the sensible thing that uh, PGI has actually changed for a couple of mechs, but not all of them yet, sadly. So it would be nice if this stacked from the top down and not from the bottom up, because it is just uh, a little bit weird. Nevertheless, two large pulses in each side torso. A total of five ear mediums in each side torso and an ear medium in the cockpit slot, jump jet and target computer mark one into our CT. And then the rest of the mech is just filled with standard heat sinks. If you wanted to, you could eke out a little bit more tonnage here and a bigger engine. You can lower the arm armor down to like 40 per, per arm. You can lower the leg armor down to like 80 per leg. And you should be almost able to get to like 350 engine, which of course gives you a little bit more speed. This right here is a little bit more on the safer side in case you wanted to try something like this out. Uh, maybe Infection Warfare or in Comp Q. But yeah, the damage is staggering, but so is also the heat. So before you shoot, you gotta try and make sure that you can actually hit what you're shooting at. So watch those torso angles, especially those twisting angles. It is super easy to dump a full salvo just into a wall somewhere or just into the boonies and uh, then you're just hot and people can easily... Uh, have your way with view and not in a, not in a good kinky way it more in a mech destruction way what you can do at longer range of course is you can use your high mounted large pulse lasers these will have a range of about 630 meters optimally and as soon as anything gets at like 500 meters or so just alpha strike your uh yeah mediums in as well and by alpha strike i mean right side and left side please do not alpha strike this you will cook and instantly kill yourself so don't do that so yeah definitely this mech is a Right side, left side, plus two weapon groups for two large pulse lasers each combination. That way you can get away with four weapon groups, but mostly you will only be shooting two. You shoot the right side of your mech and the left side of your mech. One mouse button for the left side, one mouse button for the right side. It's a very straightforward build that is easy to use and that I like. 52 kph is our speed, jump distance, I mean one jump jet. It's not, an, it's not much, but you can get over little humps or whatever, over little rocks, or on top of some of the stuff that you could normally didn't, uh, not get onto. Uh, for example, the um, pillbox over on Mining Collective. So, one jump jet, always good to have. In any case, guys, I recommend you go ahead, try it out, and let me know how it goes for you. 
It's actually funny, we were experimenting with beam lasers um, when I came up with this build, because I found that, yes, you could do a build that is similar but uses beam lasers instead of one pair of large pulses, but what's the point? The point is this thing shoots quickly and is in cover again to cool down. If you add beam lasers to the mix, you're adding a relatively weak, I mean, not super weak, but relatively weak, 12 DPS staring weapon that keeps you from ever shooting your large pulses or your mediums again because you're not cooling down. So my initial idea with the beam lasers was interesting, but then I quickly got back to, yeah, you know what? Just use large pulses. It's going to be better. Don't try and use heavy larges, by the way. It doesn't work. We've tried it. It's too hot. So um, large pulses, ear mediums, that is the mix you want to go for. At this point in time, of course, as always, I would like to say thank you so much to all my amazing supporters. I really couldn't do this without them. And hey, if you weren't there not a supporter yet and would like to help out and say thanks for the videos, then please have a look at the video description. You will find buy links on Amazon to all my gear, as well as links to my Patreon and my merch store. And of course, you can become a channel member or send us a thanks right here on YouTube. Thank you very much for your support.